in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you three different ways how you can get out of your beauty rut. I'm going to show you a lip, an eye, some corner lashes, and you're good to go. I have my friend DJ here with me today. DJ is an amazing chef. If you have a chance, please follow her on her Instagram. It's called The Clean Palette. And uh, yeah, we just played around with her makeup. Obviously, she's my friend and I get to do her makeup all the time. But I encourage all of you out there who are watching my tutorials to, you know, go through your makeup bag, uh, your personal makeup bag, and just kind of like go through it and edit. Like what I do with my clothes every year, like I go through my closet and I edit my clothes, do the same thing with your makeup. Just kind of like get rid of things you think they're old and you don't use them anymore. And maybe go in and, and use something new, something different, get out of your box. I hope that this makeup tutorial is helpful for you. Uh, keep on watching and I can't wait for you to see it and let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye. DJ. Hi Monica. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So we're going to use this uh, Vital Lumiere Aqua Foundation new today. This is shade 50. This is a great foundation because it's um, uh, water based and so it looks super natural on your skin. Um, this makeup today is all about how to get out of a beauty rut and you're lucky because you have me as your friend and I edit your makeup bag quite often but a lot of you out there, and I have a lot of friends, when I look through their makeup bag, I'm always like, oh my God, you need a little bit of help and we need to update it for you. And so I wanna just give you guys tons of tips and tricks today on how to do that. The first step is by starting with foundation. And I know a lot of people always have trouble finding the right foundation. Um, I, fi I find that question, I get that all the time, what foundation to choose and uh, what shade and everything so um, it's definitely something you know you need to find something which you know suits your skin color uh, find the right texture foundation I always recommend to have two or three different textures one for daytime one for nighttime maybe one for the beach with a good SPF in it and uh, always you know make sure that you the color is the most important thing obviously so try to find a good salesperson who can really guide you through getting the right shade for you. And also, f you know, when you apply foundations, always make sure that you blend everything, blend it all the way down, never stop right here, blend it all the way down, blend it into your hairline, so it's a really nice, even application. Okay, so these are usually the colors you would wear, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so getting out of a beauty rut, I'm definitely, you know, encouraging everyone out there to maybe try a different lip color. Um, red is definitely something you don't wear that often, but I think it'll be so beautiful on you. Um, I chose this new shade here by Chanel in 169, and it's just a very universally flattering deep blue red. And I think that color really suits many, many different skin types, skin tones, and I'm going to apply that on you right now. Um, definitely choose a good lip liner first. And again, if you are not really familiar with wearing red or if you've never worn red lipstick before, um, maybe test it out first and test out a few different shades. See what you, know, you think flatters you most. Um, also, maybe you can also apply it instead of a lipstick, you can make it into a stain, just make it a bit more natural looking, whatever you think would um, suit you best. Do this directly out of the bullet. Now another good tip is when you're wearing red lipstick, just really make sure that you have a flawless foundation. You don't want any redness in your skin. So use a nice foundation, nice powder, conceal wherever you need to have concealing done and just wear it simple like you know do it the French way French women love wearing red even during the day I think it's so chic just a little bit of red 
a little bit of mascara, even the way how you're dressed right now with the t-shirt and sneakers. Super, super chic. Okay, so for concealer, I'm actually gonna use this Bobbi Brown. Uh, it's a color corrector and the color is Bisque in number four. And if you can see, it has like a really nice, mm -hmm. like peachy, pinky undertone. And I like using that before I do the concealer. Just like you have a tiny little bit of darkness right in here. So you wanna just kinda like cancel that out with that peachy undertone. And if you can see in the camera immediately, it just like really brightens her eyes. Like you can use a brush or your fingers, whatever works best. And then we're gonna go over with a concealer. And the one I chose is my one of my favorites here, this NARS concealer. This is in the shade Honey. And uh, we're gonna just put that kind of like all over under her eye. And it will just also like lift and highlight and brighten your under eye area. Because you're quite dark right now, DJ. Yeah. We Summer. just got back. Mm. She's my friend. Summer. And if anybody follows me on Instagram, we went to Montauk to visit her. For powder, I'm just going to use this MAC blot powder. Uh, it's a pressed blot powder in the medium dark. And it's just a very natural powder. And all it really does is just it just takes your shine away very, very lightly in your T-zone. A little bit under your under eye area. I feel like you need it. And right in here a little bit right around your chin area. This is a powder I like to use a lot on set because it doesn't really interfere with the color. It doesn't change the color of my foundation. It just really does the trick. It takes all the shine away without looking powdery. And now for your uh, brows, I'm using this Kevin Aucoin Brow Pencil. It's called the Brow Gel Pencil. And uh, I'm just going to fill in the little gaps you have. I'm going to create a little bit more of an arch in your brow. And then you have a little bit of a gap in here. We're going to fill that and extend your brow outwards. You're somebody who doesn't do anything to her brows, right? Mm -mm. Nothing. Yeah. I have a nice little scar there, though. Oh, yeah, that's easy to fill. Okay, so I just curled your lashes off camera. Uh, very important to curl your lashes because it like instantly opens and brightens your eyes. And I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford mascara. Um, and as you can see to this makeup look, we're just doing very minimal. I love just a red lip with mascara. Such a good look on you. Again, this is something totally you can wear during the day or evening. Another thing, which is a great um, beauty rut, just get out of your, like if a lot of people just use blush, but like add a little bit of bronzer into your makeup. And that's something which I think everyone should have a nice bronzer. It just immediately, you know, gives you a pick me up. It gives you a little bit of color. Um, it just gives you like that nice kind of like golden-y, uh, undertone and it just makes you look immediately look alive and, and radiant and glowy. Lastly, uh, we're gonna bring in a blush here. This one here is by uh, NARS. This is the famous orgasm color. <laughs> and we're gonna put the chest on the apples of your cheeks. You can always go in with your 217 brush. And if you feel like you want a little bit something on your eye, just take your bronzer and just put it kind of like in the crease of your eye. And that just ties everything nicely together. So this look is done, DJ, and I think this is just such a great, easy way to uh, change up your makeup, to get out of a beauty rut. It's something you never do, and it looks stunning on you. Just with a little bit of a red lipstick, you can change everything. So we took your red lipstick off and now I'm going to show you how you can get out of a beauty rut by changing up your eye makeup. Um, you're somebody who wears always the same kind of eye makeup. It's always like a shimmery kind of golden color in the inner corners and a little bit of bronze. That's your favorite. 
So I'm gonna bring in an eyeshadow I didn't think you would ever pick. This is like a new fall color, which I'm obsessed with. It's a new Chanel palette. I love this palette and especially this red color. And I think it'll look so good with this color. Something I don't think you would ever think of choosing, right? But I'm gonna show everyone uh, at home how easy it is to get out of a makeup rut and just by using a shade like this red as an example. I'm gonna just start with these two colors. I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna use it on your entire upper eyelid. What I like about these shadows is that most of the Chanel shadows have a lot of shimmer in them. This is stunning by itself already. It's such a pretty color. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow. Just love the texture, love how matte it is. So this is already something completely different, something you've never done before. Now, um, I'm also gonna bring this color a little bit on your lower lash line. And matte also photographs really beautiful. Looks really good on photos. And now this color right here, this red, is so stunning. Wait until I put it on. I'm just gonna put it more, focus on it on the outer corners. And you can do this in a very light kind of application. Obviously, we don't wanna make it too strong. I'm also gonna bring it into your crease. And this is definitely something I've never seen you wear before. Mm -hmm. I would never think be, to put red. No, and you will be very surprised how actually flattering it is. Open up. Perfect. All right, another product which I'm obsessed with is this cream shadow here by Chanel. And I mean, this color is so beautiful. And I'm sure that's something you probably wouldn't really no. pick up. But I just want to show you how flattering it looks with your complexion. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit on your lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna bring this a little bit close, just a little bit like right in the middle of your eyelid. And I'm gonna also bring in this uh, eyeliner pencil by Charlotte Tilbury. It's just a brown matte pencil, just to like thicken your lashes a little bit. Then I'm just gonna take a dome brush close and I'm just gonna buff it in and make it look more natural. Perfect, and this is just to like thicken her lash line, make it just a little bit thicker and a little stronger right there. For lips, I chose just a very kind of like punchy, pretty lip gloss by Dior. The color actually looks really bright, but when you apply it, it's just really pretty. It has a nice glossy effect, and it's really sheer, and it's almost like the same color than your natural lip, just like a punch up. Um, and I think when you're wearing this kind of eye makeup, it's pretty to just do a neutral lip, but honestly, I think that you could totally wear the red lipstick we used earlier for nighttime if you're daring and you want to do something completely different and completely get out of your beauty rut you can totally totally wear that red lipstick we used earlier this is just more on the safe side this is pretty it really matches well together but another time go ahead and try the red you can totally do it and this is the finished look i hope you like it love for the third look um, i already applied a little bit of this brown eye pencil here by Charlotte Tilbury, and I've already applied it. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. And this is just great for during the day. If you don't have a lot of time, just put your foundation on, your mascara, a little bit of this brown pencil, and then you can use a dome brush and just buff the pencil in so it looks a little bit more natural. Another thing you can do is just use these corner lashes, open up DJ, and they're so easy to apply. These ones here are by Ardell 318. They're just corner lashes. They're just like a tiny little strip, super easy to apply. 
and immediately they just like give you a full lash. You can do them at night time. It just adds an instant like glamour to your makeup. Okay, so this is the way how the corner lash looks. Now I'm using my tweezers. Close your eyes and you literally just have to lay them on the outer corners, open up and then they're just already on you have to really don't do anything just tuck the corners in and instead of going to get like you know those lash extensions you can do them easily on your own and we're done